You just said I should. I should uh... Good evening. There'll be a nice tip in it for you if you can tell me if you recently saw a journalist here. Yes, sir. A damn nuisance, that man. And a real cad. He cursed me out something fierce for staining a book that he put down, even though it was him who was shaking so much that he soiled it with a whole lot of ale. Right. A book, you say? He was reading a book? <laughs> Not a real book. A hate me rag. He put it down on the ground, and I put it in the paper bin for the stove. It should still be there if it weren't already put in the fire. Thank you. He was reading a oh, book? No, no. Thank you. Goodbye, miss. At your service, me lord. Even with the lo slightly lower sensitivity, I'm still messing up with these things. Some paper. Ink stains. This must be the table where Bulling writes his copy. Yes. Book. Hmm. So, uh, ah. Journal, Springhill Jack. Um, published weekly, now ready. Price, one penny. Numbers, one and two. 24 pages. Splendidly illustrated and handsome wrapper. Uh, Springhill Jack. Um, the history of this remarkable being has been specially compiled for this work only by one of the best authors of the day, and our readers will find that he has undoubtedly succeeded in providing a wonderful and sensational story, every page of which is replete with details of absorbing, thrilling interest. Okay, nothing else there. spring Jack, a fantastical character that terrorises the population of London. This journalist has some far from cheerful reading. Hmm. Someone called Jack terrorising people in London? Hmm. What am I meant to do now, then? Evening. A pint for me and have one for yourself. I'm looking for a journalist, a good client of yours. Goes by the name of Bulling. Ring any bells? I haven't seen him for a day or two. He must be sleeping it off somewhere. Where to hide from the landlord when you owe some serious bread? What paper does he work for? I don't know, but I can't believe that he works at his rag because he's always round the pub scribbling his useless papers. The last time I seen him, he spent all day at that table drinking and scratching away from morning till night. He finished by celebrating, and without the help of a rich chap, he would have fleeced me of a guinea. Yeah, which Watson, yes. Thank you, my friend. That's nothing. Right, so... Some paper, ink stains. This must be the table where Bulling writes his copy. Well, the ash is still smouldering, so I would suspect, therefore, logically, he's already be he's been here recently. Let's return to Baker Street. Tom Bulling isn't here, but the Baker Street Irregulars should be able to track him down. Perhaps Watson will have something to tell me in the morning. Right, let's go back to Baker Street then. Up at last, Holmes. Were you able to get anything from that crook at the wasp's nest yesterday? Not yet, but I am working on it. And yourself, Watson, what were you able to find out from your colleague about the sale of second-hand female parts? Holmes? Well, actually... Let it be, Watson. It was tiring, no doubt. Well, as soon as I mentioned the possible existence of a black market dealing in human parts, everyone in the hospital became very tense. This silence, therefore, tells us more than anything else at this point. However, I have trouble believing that such a peculiar dealing as that involving Annie Chapman's uterus could have gone unnoticed in the medical community, if that is indeed what happened. That's my opinion, as well as that of my old university colleague. He maintains that any form of organ trafficking would be impossible, not to mention unnecessary. However, he did tell me something rather troubling the unexplained disappearance of several corpses from the hospital morgue. He has allowed me to investigate, provided I do so discreetly, and here is what I found, concealed in what appeared to be a secret letterbox. Interesting, an encoded message. Indeed, and look, the symbol of a certain well-known Spartaca encyclopedia is printed on it. Perhaps it will help in deciphering the letter. Thank you, Watson. Are you going out again? I promised a new patient, Captain Stenick, I'd go round to examine him. He lives nearby. I may be back before you've had a chance to decipher this mysterious message. Can we decipher it? I, I guess not, actually, by the looks of it. 
How do I examine again? No. No. No, I want to examine it. Right, so this is... Oh, right, that's a different thing, isn't it? Never mind. Good. Let's decipher the encoded oh, right. words in the message that Watson found at the London Hospital. I need to interact with that. Oh, okay. Right. The index of the Spartacus encyclopedias seems to have a connection with this letter. Right. Am I meant to just type these in? So that's probably five. Uh... Okay, resume. Assume that's right. So twelve is I assume is twelve V then? No, okay. So we're looking for twelves, if there's any twelves. Which would fit this. Uh, so the reason I'm picking 12 there is because this is 12 V. This one, oh, that's less helpful actually because it doesn't actually have, that has neither a number nor an actual thing. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a bit of human anatomy. So that's these are the things with the picture with the things there, isn't it? Hmm. The index of the spot. Um. Next, click on the documents index letters that you will have found and place them on the boxes corresponding to the correct symbols. Hmm. I don't think this is right then. Um. What if I stick with that idea? So we're looking for. Hang on, they've got two V's. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And these are different things entirely, aren't they? I don't know what these slashes are. I think these might be V's, but because there's no X's. Um, no. And if you have them, have it V. Oh no. What is this? Is that meant to be fifteen? Because there's no there's no X's in this. So what's the point of putting this up? So, right, 17. What's 17, then? Because this says 17 suddenly here. I, hmm. Let me reset. I don't think there's any other... Here's the issue. There's no other things we've got for these. But this doesn't have any numbers attached to it, or at least it doesn't seem to. Uh, we know that on each one, one's person, so there is a one, and there's a twelve. Uh, it's having three sets of notes. Making the harmonious sense. The notes unfold over time, with the immediate impression of the top note. Middle, bass. Quality of perfume is usually tested in terms of three parameters. Okay, but that, it's the same number. Hmm. It's like, that's one, but I don't know what one would be. Um, and I don't know what these... So, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the other thing. It's like, here is... So, is that meant to be nine? But that's not what you've written for nine. So, these symbols do not match this. Although... Hmm, I don't know... Is this meant to be a date? So that would imply, actually, that that might be an S. E. Because we're currently in September, I think. So... That's not going to work. Because we need another E there. So that's wrong. Unless this is September. Which 
which might work, because then it's the September the 17th. Except these in the wrong place, of course it is. I know, I, I know, I know I should be using these, but there doesn't seem to be any logical system to get there. It's not like it's... <sighs> it's... I, I, I don't know what these little symbols are, these lines, because... I don't know what... Are these meant to be clues? Uh, for this? Or is that saying that this has, is trying to imply this is something to do with the, um, Roman numerals? But then why have you got V's instead of X's? So it seems like... I don't know, I'd almost suggest that that's... Let's try and see if there's something else. No, I don't think there's anything else in here, is there? No, I think we've just got to stick with... Good. Let's decipher the encoded words in the message that Watson found at the London Hospital. Right, well, this is a three-letter word. So, I know I shouldn't be doing this. I know I should be doing it via kind of actually working things out, but... The. Um, I don't think it's going to be and there. I don't know what that's going to be. No, that can't be a T, though, here. If I, I assume that's going to remove the T's from... Oh! Oh, you shouldn't let me do that game. That's ridiculous. So it looks like that's not there. But I can't think of what else it could be. Um, I, I'm really confused by what these symbols are meant to be. Because these aren't V's. They're just random lines. So, yeah, so these are both in the Spartaca Encyclopedia. The index of the Spartaca Encyclopedias seems to have a connection with this letter. But I don't have—I don't actually have any of the indexes, do I? Let's look at my back in my inventory. Uh, no. Do I look? No. No, these aren't right. These are the ones we've got. Okay. I wasn't what I meant to do at all. Um, Valerian or Captain's Tail. The thing is, so if I assume... Like, do I say, okay, 1 is V? Because the issue with that... Okay, so that's why I'm going here. This is 1. Oh, these are two different ones, aren't they? That's Plants and Spices, which is a separate one to this one. They're two different books. The index of the Spartaca Encyclopedias seems to have a connection with this letter. But I don't know what the... Like, I don't know what the V is. So is that... Actually, is that meant to be... So... And then is there a 2? So 2 gets A. And then 3 gets R. Where, where is there a 3? I'm sure there's a 3. Spart... Is there a 4? Yeah. So this is one four for something else. So they've decided, unless is there an IV? Because I'm now getting the sudden feeling that maybe this is just an error in the graphics. Except there, it's different. Okay, it is VV and then the two slashes. So I think we want to remove that. Is there a way to black? Ah, good. Spot. Yeah. So we want a proper V here. I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't understand what these symbols are meant to represent is the problem. Um, I mean, the simplest thing we can do is say that this is the, and work from that. Um, the other issue would be to reset and try uh, coming up with some other three-letter word. Or what could the 17 be? Oh, this might be an address, actually. Um, which means it could be pretty much any name, which is a little unhelpful. 
Oh, that might be a, na a three-letter name is the problem. But I don't understand. Like, you get the big V, and then you get these little tiny Vs. And so it's like, what are they meant to represent? Is this meant to be 13? So that's... No, that's 23. Um, or is that meant to be 20? Because... I don't... I don't understand. Like, if you've got these bits of symbology, if you've got these symbols down here to be the Roman numerals, why are we not getting it up here? Help. Click on the document's index letters that you will have found. You must search in the inventory for two for the two documents that are permitted to sort of resolve this puzzle. Okay. Let's actually... This might be what I have to actually do. Let's go back. I have no reason to go that way. I have no reason to go that way. Okay. There's that plan. Because I was just thinking, oh, we'll get the book. We'll get the index and we'll get a copy of it from the place. But apparently, we don't need to go and do that. So that means that the two... Good. Let's decipher the... The two documents I'm using are correct. But the problem is... There doesn't seem to be any kind of index attachment to this. So do I say that that's 12? But the problem is, what's 12? Um, like, is that, that's, is that IX? Is that meant to be 19? Is that meant to be 9? Um, but that make, then make, means that this is VIX. And I don't think there's, there's no VIX. Because you have that. So is the v is that actually X? Oh, uh, I see. I see what it is. That's I see. That's quite clever, actually. Very good. Very good. These aren't V's. They're X's. So we're looking for twelve. I think twelve is probably V. So we want uh, line. Li we want that one. No, no, no. Yes, that's the one we want for V. I think. Um. Although there doesn't seem to be any other kind of... Like, the index letters. Like, what are the index letters? Well, what does it say for the help, again? Click on the document's index letters that you will have found. I'm clicking on it wildly. So I get the worry that maybe this is the wrong set of things to be using. Which is the frustration, which is why I want to go back to the... Uh. The index of the Spartica Encyclopedias seems to have a connection with this letter. Yes, clearly. But I don't have ac ac don't actually have access to the index. Because... Oh, now I can't actually remove this, can I? Okay, so the game is... So this is right. These are right. 